We are now in the new age of much improved technologies on foot scanning and orthotic manufacturing. Now let's get started with this tutorial, part one. This app requires the iPad made by Apple and the structure sensor made by Acepito. The way to install the sensor is shown in this photo. For the easiness of discussion, we will call the structure sensor on iPad the scanner. The way to hold the iPad with the sensor is shown here. Please note, the iPad camera is on the upper left hand side. The home button and the cable should be always on the right hand side during the scanning process. After turning on the iPad, you need to enable the Wi-Fi and the camera in the settings. You need to have the AOMS TOT pronounced as AMOS TOT installed on your iPad. To start, just tap the icon shown with a foot and orthotic in it. This app is specially made for scanning feet, positive plaster foot casts, negative plaster foot casts, and the foam impression boxes. Let's start with the normal scanning process first. There are some unusual cases, such as installing Dropbox, etc. We will cover them later. The first thing we need to do is to enter person's last name and then first name. The names are mandatory and will be used to identify the images when ordering foot orthosis. For privacy concerns, if you do not want to enter real names, that is okay. The requirement is letters and numbers only, without space or special characters. You can even leave them blank. In that case, a default name will be used. After entering the names, you need to tap either left for left foot or right for right foot for the foot being scanned. This will help the lab to quickly identify the left or right foot. After choosing left or right foot, we are now entering the aiming mode. In this mode, we need to aim the target and tap scan button to scan. There is a bounding box outlined by the white lines. In this app, the bounding box is customized for the purpose of scanning feet. Before you tap the scan button, there's a lot of skills you need to learn and practice. Let's go through them in details. With the scanner in hand, you can scan a person's foot with the person in supine non-weight bearing position, like the position we did with the traditional foot scanner shown here. Or you can scan a person's foot with the person in prone non-weight bearing position. We found that this position is much easier with the scanner. You do not have to use a bed. You can use just a chair as shown. We can scan a positive plaster cast as shown in this screenshot. The cast is laying on the floor. In fact, it's much easier to scan casts comparing to scan feet. We can also scan a negative plaster cast. That is the slipper cast as shown in this screenshot. We need to trim the negative cast in order to scan the inside shape of the cast. We can also scan a foam impression box as shown in this screenshot. We need to scan them one at a time. There are many objects to scan. Now let's use a dummy foot to show you the key steps in the aiming mode. The dummy foot is a positive plaster mode suspended in air. You will see the bounding box. The box can move and change its size when you move the scanner. 
the moment you tap the scan button is very critical to the result of the scan. One critical thing is the size of the bounding box. It has to be up close to the foot and consistent each time you make a scan. Up close is to make the maximum resolution of the images. How close? I will show you later. Another critical thing is the orientation of the scanner relative to the foot. The bounding box needs to be lined up with the screen. The plane of the iPad and the plane of the planter surface of the foot must be parallel as shown when you press the scan button. This starting point will define the location of the foot inside the bounding box. Please note, during the aiming mode, you may temporarily lose the bounding box. When that happens, just point the scanner to a different direction, then come back. Once the bounding box is visible, make sure the box is in good size and the dark red patch covers the whole foot. The dark red patch flickers. If the box or the red patch does not cover the whole foot, the foot may be out of the box, which should be avoided. When all is good, you tap the scan button. After tapping the scan button, you are now in the scanning mode. It's relatively easy to handle. You move the scanner around the foot gently. Two things may happen during this mode. That is, you lose track of the foot or you are in good shape. Tap the rescan button if you lose track or continue to scan if you are in good shape. If all is normal, the plaster slurry kind of material will deposit on the foot. The most important part for us is the plantar surface of the foot because the AOMS systems will only use that area to make orthotics. So you change orientation, but not necessarily with great angle. If you are scanning a positive mode, the plaster slurry will solidify on the foot and the some will spill on the floor. That is okay because our processing program will take care of it. Just move around. If you are scanning a negative cast, the plaster slurry will congeal inside the cast and the sum will spill on the floor. That is okay. Just keep moving. If you are scanning a foam box, the plaster slurry will solidify inside the footprint and also on top of the box. This time, try to make your moves to catch the inside. You need to scan one foot at a time, not a pair. During scan, you may be too close to the foot. The indication is that patches of red area appear on the foot. That is okay, just back off a little. Actually, we recommend you move close to the foot. When you see the red area, then you back off. That way, you know you are in the closest range possible. Close range will give you high resolution in this image if everything is all right. That is, the data is rich. The shape is not distorted and there are no voids. You can tap finish button to continue. After tapping the finish button, you will see this screenshot. At this moment, you check the integrity of the image. You can choose to do a rescan if the image is not ideal or you can choose to save the image. Note that you may see artifacts, that is, something doesn't belong to the foot. In most cases, that is okay, 
because the processing software can extract the foot image. Just make sure the foot image is outstanding, that is closer to you than everything else. Everything else is in the background. After saving files, or when you are not satisfied with the previous scan, you need to tap the back button. When you do that, you are prompted to answer a question, new order or continue. If you have finished scanning the pair of foot for a person, you choose new order. Otherwise, you choose continue. If you choose new order, you will go through the whole process introduced above, from entering names to making scans. If you choose continue, you just need to choose left or right foot. You do this until you finish your work. These files, which are OBJ, JPEG, and a text file, are created after scan. The files may be accessible through three methods, the local drive in the iPad, the email attachment, or Dropbox. You need to set up email and the Dropbox if you want to use them. I will introduce them in my next tutorial. Dropbox is very convenient. The current figure shows portions of a Windows 7 desktop. When files are added, you get a notice automatically. It is almost instantaneous. The file names follow a pattern. ID underscore last name underscore first name underscore LOR underscore the timestamp. Three types of, of file are shown in the Dropbox folder. When files reach an automated orthotic lab, they can use our conversion software to extract the foot images and to convert them to the files that are accepted by the AOMS systems. In order to do that, you need to contact one of our automated labs. Eventually, the finished product, orthotics and insoles, can be carved on their CNC machines used in the AOMS systems. You need to contact the lab to find their price, turnaround time, and terms. A person may ask, there are some similar apps already, why bother to make a new one? This app concentrates on the following. One, it is specially designed for scanning feet and the casts for the purpose of making foot orthosis. Because of the app, works can be streamlined and uncertainties in foot dimension, orientation, and work order can be greatly reduced. Two, cares are taken to make the size of the bounding box just right for the foot. The bounding box has a fixed size. The bounding box can change its orientation when the user points up or down. Three, the ordering process is made for production. File transfer process is made easy. Four, a sister Windows program is made for converting the files generated from this app to the files used by the popular AOMS system. This is the end of this tutorial, part one. We will make more tutorials.